guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. My channel focus is definitely on whether makeup suits my tan skin tone. When I first started YouTube, I had such a tough time finding other creators that look like me, which is what really got me started in creating swatch party videos and testing things out. I'm also a huge eyeshadow palette junkie, so if you guys like eyeshadow palette first impression videos and reviews, I do a lot of those here on my channel, so please consider subscribing. Today I have another first impressions. I'm so excited to try this palette out. This is the Pro Fusion Emeralds palette. I picked this up months ago for $5 on the Pro Fusion website, and of course, True to myself, I neglected this palette. It just kind of sat there for a little while. Recently, I have seen Teresa is Dead include this in her favorites video, so I was like, okay, it's time to stop dicking around and get into this palette. So that is what I'm going to do today. Today's eye look is featuring this palette, so I will get to that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and swatch this guy, because you guys know I love to give you some swatches of the palette oh my goodness so here is the first row we do have shade names so let me read them to you we have gilded we have radioactive russet fern and juniper i use both fern and juniper in my crease today and then gilded i did tuck into my inner corner as well oh my gosh that shade radioactive it looks like a brown but it has a beautiful gold duochrome to it i'm actually amazingly impressed so here are the first five shades okay and then here are the shades of the bottom row we have burst we have harlequin monumental meadow and galaxy i use harlequin monumental and meadow on this eye look as well so let me just swatch those quick as well these are swatching pretty nicely i have to say they worked so well on my eyes. I had no problem. You guys will see in the demo here in a second. All the mattes were pigmented. They blended so, so beautifully. I am honestly so impressed with this palette. Now, this is definitely a green palette, so if you like to do a little bit of green with a little bit of neutral, there are a few neutral shades in here. There's these three metallics that are more neutral leaning, and then this one russet which is a matte brown but you're not going to have a neutral deepening out shade so you might have to reach into another palette if you're feeling really adventurous you can also go into meadow to deepen up the outer corner but it is versatile i'm shocked you guys and i know you can get this at walmart because even my walmart here down the street has it so i'm so pumped that i can recommend something that is so easily accessible for you guys you don't have to pay shipping or anything like that which is awesome now really quick i do want to tell you guys a few other things i have on my face today because i always forget to link things in the description box so i just want to shout them out really quick my bronzer for the day is Macchiato. This is the cream bronzer by Fenty Beauty. I picked this up during the Sephora sale and I picked up so many cream products that I haven't really tested this out too, too much. So I'm gonna make an effort this week to try this particular bronzer out. I really like the look it gives me, the finish. It's very dewy. My whole face is super duper dewy today. So that is the bronzer I have on. For foundation, I have the Kosas Tinted Face Oil on. This is so glorious and glowy and easy to put on. I honestly wasn't expecting any kind of coverage with this particular product. I know my friend Amy loves this and she had said it's very light. It definitely feels light on the skin, but I still feel like I feel perfected. I'm wearing this particular foundation for a YouTube video. My camera is filming me in 4K, so... The way my skin is on camera is how I look in real life. There is no filters, there's no tricks, so I really, really, really like how that makes my skin look. 
on camera as well as in person. I also decided to try the Fenty Rose Latte blush again. This is one I picked up on the first day of the VIB Rouge sale and I feel like I just haven't given it enough love. I have used it a few times but I don't have like deep intense thoughts about these blushes so I thought let me use them this week and kind of formulate some thoughts on the products. So I really like that color on my skin tone. I think it's going to be a beautiful color for fall to be very honest has a very beautiful burgundy hue to it on my lips is one of my favorite favorite things that I discovered in the month of May this is prop of beauties shade in focus I know a lot of you have been very very interested in these lipsticks I only have three of them I know some people ask me to do like a swatch party video I don't have the whole line I know there are a few other youtubers that have done swatches with the whole line so I just wanted to mention that this is the shade on my lips in case you guys are curious because it's hard to find sometimes swatches on people with similar skin tones so really like that color on me and then the last thing this was kind of an unexpected surprise my friend Amy sent this to me this is the hourglass vanish in champagne flash this is one of their like stick highlighters and I was like oh I don't know like am I really gonna like it let me just try it with this look and see what happens and I was obsessed I used it with this AOA studio f19 brush and oh my gosh I just love the glow it gives me it looks so natural it's beautiful I was pleasantly surprised so thank you to Amy for sending me that particular product as a gift that was so so sweet of her now I feel like I've blabbered enough so let's get into how I created this eyeshadow look with this profusion palette I'm gonna film my demo with this palette so this is a five dollar profusion palette this is the emeralds palette and you can actually pick these up at your local Walmart I picked mine up online and I bought a few other palettes of theirs I also grabbed the five dollar neon palette I haven't tested either of these out. I got them a while ago, and then I saw my friend here on YouTube, Teresa is Dead, talking about this palette, and I'm like, girl, you have that palette, and you still haven't tried to get your act together. So I decided today was the day. We're going in. The shade Juniper is calling to me. It's just a beautiful grungy green. So let's go ahead and put that on our eyeballs. I had bought some Profusion palettes previously, and I think I ended up just decluttering them all on my Poshmark because I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to review them, which was kind of pathetic of me. Uh, but I do this thing sometimes where I just overwhelm myself and buy makeup just because I'm excited or stressed or something new comes out and I think I have to have it. Listen, I know I have a problem. I'm not saying that I don't. I'm not trying to pretend I don't. But I can admit that sometimes I go overboard. So I did end up getting rid of those palettes on Poshmark. Getting them over to somebody that was going to use them, hopefully. But when I saw a $5 green palette, you guys, I couldn't resist. You guys know how much I love green shadows. And that shade just was so easy and pigmented. I am so pumped. So next I want to go into this beautiful shade called Meadow. It's like a more blue green and I'm gonna, oh my god, these are so freaking pigmented. Are you kidding me? What on earth? Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm shocked. That is nuts. What? Okay, so let's try the shade Fern. It's a nice, beautiful light green. I'm just going to stick that in the inner corner just to lighten things up. I think that shade Meadow just like took over Juniper. <laughs> Sorry, Juniper. <laughs> but wow. I am in shock at how good that was. So this palette has some beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades. I think I'm going to try the shade Harlequin, um, which is this beautiful light green shimmer color. I'm going to at least put that on the inner half of my eyelid. This is like the fastest eye look I've ever done, I think. Holy moly. And I haven't even wet this brush yet. I'm just trying it with a dry brush. This is a Cleonade brush from their 
stained glass collection. I got it in the Tribe Beauty box. That was a collab um, between them and Angelica Nyquist. So I did get this brush in PR if anyone. Wow, holy crap. I'm in shock. Listen, I don't always try drugstore stuff, but this is why you have to try some drugstore things because sometimes it surprises you. So this half, I'm going to go into the shade Monumental, which is a beautiful dark green. And I feel like that'll be gorgeous at the end here. Wowie. I am freaking impressed. Five dollars? Are you kidding me? That's insane. That is insanity. I know there's a purple one too. So there's a emeralds. Do they have a gold? I can't remember. I skipped the purples because you guys, I mean, I like purples. Purples are very flattering on me. But I'm such a green lover that I grab the green. So, wow. My eye look is done, yo-yo. <laughs> My eye look is done, son. Wow. I'm shocked. I'm impressed. That was two brushes. <laughs> Took me two brushes. I used five shades in this palette, and my eye look is done. That was exciting. And I think I could use this shade right here called um, Gilded in my inner corner. So I'll do that after I clean up under my eyes really quick. And I'm going to do foundation off camera and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look with this $5 Pro Fusion Emeralds palette. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun playing with this. I thought this was so good that I literally Instagram DM'd Angie and Amy and I was like, look at this freaking $5 palette eyeshadow look. Oh my goodness, I've heard so many people rave about this recently and I think it's with good reason. So if you guys are interested in a bunch of fun green eyeshadows, I would recommend picking this baby up and I will definitely play with it some more and I can't wait to rank this guy in my June ranking video. So thank you guys so, so much for sitting with me and watching me play with this palette. I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.